What if I told you I couldn't stay Take me or leave me You can still walk away Hey babes, Jen here and welcome back to Blindly Honestly And if you aren't new to the channel I hope you enjoyed today's video as well So Today I am doing a requested video And this is my, like it's gonna be a Get ready with me Let's go to the beach edition. And so it's not going to be anything bold or crazy. We're going to go very subtle, a uh, very almost natural look because yes, I do go in the water, but when we go to the beach, we also go and wander and explore. So I don't want to just like walk around with no makeup whatsoever. I still want to look a little good, like a little bit of glam. You know what I mean? If you want to see, go ahead and stick around and hang out. And I'm going to show you guys, it may be a little long. I'm going to try not to hit that 40 minute mark. <laughs> But we will see. And yes, my hair looks a little crappy right now, but we're gonna fix that. Just hang with me. So starting out, this is what I would normally wear to the beach. It's just a really light, pretty tank top. And I would normally wear my bathing suit either underneath this or take it with me and change in the car and wear this down to the beach. So the first step with like any day makeup that I do and especially when going down to the beach, is a generous amount of sunscreen. This is the Tarte Tarte Guard FPF 30. This is what I always wear every day. It is like my first step before my before I put down my um, primer, anything, whatever. And I really just apply one pump. With just one pump, you do get a lot of product. And I just apply this all over my face. And because this is just like a quick, easy going to the beach look, I'm not going to color correct at all. I'm just going to start with my primer and then I will move on to everything else. So I already did my eyebrows because I kind of like had an episode earlier this week where I over plucked and I ended up plucking off half of this brow so it stops like right here. It looks beautiful. So <laughs> I did my brows before I came on camera to save you guys from having to see that. So I'm going to apply my primer first, but I'm going to do my eyeshadow before I do my foundation. So the primer I am using is the Too Faced Prime and Peachy. This is the Cooling Matte Skin Perfector Primer. And this is like my go-to primer. I seriously love this primer. So a few pumps of that. And it comes out nice and peachy. So I'm going to apply this right over after my sunscreen has time to sink in. And I just love, love, love how this stuff feels as it seeps into your skin. So because it is hot, I got my cold brew. And we're doing a diet right now, so I don't have anything in it. No cream, nothing, and it sucks, but it still tastes good. So, we are going to start with the eyeshadow. So I'm going to prime my eyes using the Too Faced Eye Primer Insurance, or eyeshadow insurance, and this bottle is, like, seriously old. I need to get a new one, but, you know. Times are hard right now, so I'll use what I got. I do have the NYX primer, or not the NYX, the um, Urban Decay primer, but I'm not a big fan of that primer. I've just never been a huge fan of it. So yeah, I've never really done a get ready with me where I chatted and just like talked. So if I get quiet and awkward, I'll just edit that out. <laughs> So for my eyeshadow, I'm going to use the Too Faced uh, Sweet Peach Palette. I love this palette. I've had it since it was released. It's used and abused. It doesn't even stay together anymore, but it gets the job done, right? <laughs> so I'm starting with this flat brush. This is from Morph, and it is from their um, Golden Gilded Collection. I'm not sure. It's just shiny and glittery. <laughs> so I'm going to pick up peaches and cream and I'm gonna put that on all over my lid just as a base so did everybody enjoy their fourth I know it's been like two weeks since I actually like, sat down and talked and we spent our fourth in 
Oh, we went everywhere. We went to Pismo. We went to San Luis Obispo. We went to San Simon. Um, Santa Barbara. We went everywhere. And it was so cool. Like We went and we spent the beach or the uh, the day on the beach just hanging out and chilling and it was like lots of fun and then after that we went to our hotel in san luis obispo and we stayed at a place called the apple farm inn and it was like this really cozy bed and breakfast it was really cute and kind of vintage i'll, I'll post some videos or some pictures right here so you guys can see how it looked I didn't take any pictures of the room because by the time we got to our room, it was almost two in the morning because we had been down at the pier and on the beach all night. Like we were seriously at the beach until they came and said, hey, you guys can't be here anymore. So now I'm going to pick up Georgia, which is this matte pink. And this is going to go all over the lid and set for the outer corner. So like I said, this is going to be a very subtle look. I'm not going for bright. I'm not going for bold. I just want it to look natural, but still have a bit of that contoured look on the eyelids, if that makes sense. But if you did want this to go brighter, we can always add a little bit of Just Peachy over the lid and that'll make it pop. So I really love this, um, sweet peach palette because it has the ability to do like a neutral soft look like this but also has the ability to do a big huge bold color so just to show you guys i'm going to pick up just peachy which is this glittery pink right here and i'm going to add that over just to show you how um how much it changes the look you can see it adds a bit more of a bright pink to it. Well, not like a complete bright pink, but you still have like more of a pink look. So yeah, and then after Pismo and when we woke up the morning of from our hotel in San Luis Obispo, we went down to San Simon and, or San Simon, Simon, I don't know how to say it, but it's like an hour, hour and a half from San Luis Obispo. But after that, we went down to San Simon, or Simon, whatever, and we went on a tour of Hertz Castle. It was so beautiful. Like, they did such an immaculate job keeping that place, like, to date of where it was when they stopped building. And just how the rooms themselves looked. It was so cool being able to explore the bedrooms and all that. It was amazing. If you guys ever get a chance, to come down to Southern California, I highly suggest you take a trip to San Simon and check out Hertz Castle because it was just so cool. Okay. So now for a little bit of a bump, I'm going back in with that flat brush that I used for Georgia and Candy Peach. And I'm going to pick up Puree, which is this one right here. And that's going on the outer corner. And then after we left Hertz Castle, we went and checked out this place called Moonstone Beach. And like, it was so weird because the sand there was black. Like it had these little tiny pebbles all in it. And it hurt my feet so bad. It was like, I felt like I was rocking, stepping on glass. And I couldn't do it. We were there for maybe 30 minutes until I was like, I'm sorry, babe. I know you're excited to be here, but I just can't. So then we left and we ended up going to Merle Bay. Like I said, we went everywhere. And we went to Merle Bay for about two hours just walking on the beach. And I found two sea dollars. And actually I found a crab shell, like the helmet of a crab. It was really cool. It was like empty, just sitting there on the sand. So I picked it up and I brought it home. <laughs> All right, so now I'm picking up R39 by Morph. And by the way, the flat brush that I used was R42. So I'm picking up this blending brush. It's R39 by Morph. 
And I'm going to pick up Charmed, I'm sure. And this is going into the crease. And so we ended up after um, going to Morro Bay, we stayed in um, Santa Monica, or not Santa Monica, Santa Maria, at a hotel called the Santa Maria Historic Inn, which is supposedly very, very haunted. We didn't get any activity in our room at all, but from a lot of the stories that I read, it's supposed to be very, very haunted. But we didn't see anything. We didn't experience anything. Well, I mean, we went to dinner and we came back and there was a dollar bill sitting in the middle of the floor. So, I mean, maybe the ghost is like, hey, here you go, have a dollar. It probably just fell out of my husband's pants pocket, whatever, but... It's kind of a fun thing to say, like, oh yeah, the ghost gave us a dollar. <laughs> so, I'm liking this look, but I want to add a little bit more of an oomph to it. So I'm picking up that R42 again. And I'm going to pick up Caramelize, which is like a shimmery orange pink. And I'm going to put that over where Georgia and Just Peachy was. That looks much better. So the next morning after we went to Santa Maria and stayed the night, we ended up driving, instead of like driving home, we took the long way and we ended up going to um, Santa Barbara and it was so hot. Like I think it was 101 or 100 or something like that. It was, it just felt miserable. and. Of course, my husband, who's like the adventurous one out of the two of us, he was like, oh, let's run a two-person bike. So now I am going to pick up this super fluffy brush. This is R38, and I'm just going to blend out the crease a little bit more. So yeah, we rented a two-person bike, and we were riding around the beach, or like the path by the beach, and you know, I'm a lazy ass, so I wasn't really pedaling, and like... My husband was like, man, we must be on a hill because it's so hard to push up this, the, like, push the bike. And I'm just sitting there, like, my feet are up and I'm relaxing. And he looks over and he's like, you son of a <laughs> I felt so bad. So I helped him paddle and it was easier after that. But, like, I just felt so bad because I have really bad arches on my feet. So riding a bike's kind of hard for me sometimes. <laughs> He was laughing about it, so he wasn't too mad. All right, I'm gonna take a break real quick because it's hot. I need to turn the fan on a little bit. All right, so now I'm going to do a little bit of eyeliner, and this is from Lorac. This is Front of the Line Pro Eyeliner in just black. And I love this eyeliner because it really stays all day. Okay, so I am going to do a little bit of a winged liner, but I'm going to wait till after I finish my foundation. So for my foundation, I'm not using like a legit real foundation, but so before I apply my foundation, I'm going to do a little bit of powder just because I do have oily skin and while I'm out in the sun all day, I know I'm going to sweat. So. I'm going to go in with just this fluffy brush from Morph and I'm picking up the Too Faced I Want Candy Banana Pudding Brightening Face Powder and this has like red, yellow, green and a little bit of blue in there and it just kind of helps with color correcting without having to do color correcting so I'm not going to put a lot just a little bit down mainly where I'm most red. I am going to do a little bit of contour with yellow powder, so that will help too. But I really love this powder, especially before I put down foundation. See, it's already brightening. I, I don't 
really know if it works, but I like it. It doesn't really have a banana smell to it, but I love Candy Johnson, <laughs> so I bought this because it's such a cute packaging. It's really the only thing from her... No, that's not true. I bought her lipsticks too, and they were crap. Like, this ain't tea, this is coffee, but I'm spilling the tea on the Too Faced Candy Johnson lipsticks that she came out with. They suck. So there's your tea. <laughs> so onto the foundation. This isn't an, a legit foundation, so to speak. This is actually the Pixie by Petra H2O Skin Tint, and it is a tinted facial gel. I use this every summer. It is my go-to instead of foundation because sometimes it just gets a little too hot for foundation and this is very cooling because it's just it's a gel that goes on the face. It's cooling and hydrating. It's very sheer. It's water-based and you can apply as you would a moisturizer and pat onto the skin. So this is the shade number one cream. I kind of bounce between number one cream and number two uh, natural or beige, whatever it's called. So that is how it comes out. If you do want more of a thicker coverage, you can go in with a watery foundation. The best watery foundation I've found is the, the ColourPop. Um, ColourPop warning with or warning with the ColourPop foundation. It is very very watery. If you have oily skin, it's gonna break up and separate on your face. So be warned. So I'm going to go in with just this, I'm not going to add the foundation because I want a natural coverage. And I'm just going to apply it all over. And we will be setting this with powder just so that it does last all day. And as you can see, it is not going to cover up much, if anything. But it is going to give your face like a nice brightening look, which is why I love this stuff. And if you don't want to use a beauty blender, you can go over this with just your hands and pat it in like lotion. But personally, I like to use a beauty blender just because I like to have control. <laughs> and I just love, 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 love how stuff fails when it's on your face because it's just very, very soothing and like, it feels very creamy when you put it on and it just melts into your skin if that makes sense. So I am going to add a little bit of concealer, but again, we want a light concealer. So I'm going to use the ColourPop No Filter Concealer because it's very, very watery and thin because we do not want a thick concealer for this. We're just applying it everywhere you normally would. I know I said this is like a natural look, but uh, this is natural for me. <laughs> so like if you just want like a basic natural look, you can completely skip the concealer part of this and just put down the H2O skin tint and that'll just do it for you. But because like I said, we when we go to the beach, we do like to stop and eat and go explore. So... I want a little bit of a something extra on my face that will hold up throughout the day. And I have like a bit of a scab right here because my cat scratched me so I know my foundation looks like it's cracking right here and yeah you can blame my cats. But you know if you don't have bike marks and scratches your cats don't love you right? So I'm trying to like talk during this I'm not like I don't know. Like, I've never done a get ready with me where I wasn't doing it. Like, I've, I've, done, I've done one where I was live and I was able to chat with people while getting ready. I like doing that a lot. They're really, really fun to do. Like if you're ever nervous about starting to do a live stream, that was probably like the best entry into a live stream is a get ready with me. Alright, so now I'm going to do a little bit of bronzing, and for that I'm using the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer in Baked. You remember I did do a review of this before, and I said it doesn't really work as a bronzer by itself. But if you pat it into the skin, like this, it looks much better than going in and doing thick line. I'm going to go over this with powder as well, this isn't my only bronzing, but it does do a nice natural 
look, my hair is getting in and everything. So you want to make sure that you like really, really, really blend the bronzer out or else you're going to have like some weird lines of your face. And you know, that's not cute. <laughs> yeah, see, it's like already creasing right around my nose where my cat attacked me. So now I'm going to take some powder and I'm going to kind of just set my face a little bit and I'm using the ColourPop No Filter Sheer Pressed Powder and this is just the shade Light. And I'm just going to take my Beauty Blender and it's going to go under my eyes. My nose, my forehead, chin line. And we're going to let that set for a little bit. And I am going to curl my hair, but I'll do it off camera after I'm done with my face just because, you know. <laughs> I don't want to sit here with a curling iron for an hour just sitting here. So, I know this video is already going to be long enough. So, I am going to tell you right now, since this is just a gel and a skin tint, it will more than likely crease. So be warned of that. This is not a foundation that's going to be an all-day wear. It is something that you're not going to mind getting in the water wearing, if that makes sense. So it has been about a week since I like sat down in front of the camera and actually like felt like recording. And I know I was supposed to have this video up and posted last week but like I had family crap happen and like we're dealing with stuff me and my husband like nothing bad it's great stuff that's happening and we're dealing with but it's stressful if that makes sense so so now that that is all set and I look ghostly white I'm going to contour because I can't just walk around without any contour on and I'm going to use the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. I know there is controversy behind Kat Von D, but I love this contour palette and I'm gonna keep using it until it's done and then I'll move on to another one if I end up, you know? So I'm just going to contour like I normally would. So, but very, very lightly, less than normal because normally I would go hard and heavy, but I'm trying to go very naturally today as I go very hard and heavy. I just don't know what natural means apparently. So now I'm going to do a little bit of powder. I'm going to take the yellow shade. Ooh, maybe. So I'm going to take the yellow shade from this palette and plop that under my eye just to kind of combat any type of under eye bags that I may have. And then a little bit more on my chin. And then we're going to use the other two shades to highlight the cheekbones. And it's that simple. And so then going in with this brush, I'm just going to buff it all out. Voila. So now we are going to bronze. <laughs> I know I said this was going to be a subtle look and I may have lied. So like I know I said it's a subtle look and I'm sitting here going extra but I promise you this is a lot more subtle than what I normally do. Like if you're a normal subscriber and supporter of my channel then you know like this is not normally how like much I do or how little I do. I usually do a lot more. So I'm going in with the ColourPop Pressed Powder Bronzer and this is California Dreamin' or CA Dreaming. And I just feel like that name is perfect for a beach look. I'm just gonna buff it out. You know, I'm just thinking and I should have used my mermaid brushes for this look too. It would have been like amazing. So now we are going to do some blush. And for that, I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Brush Blush, and this is Peef and Poe. I believe they're named after her sphinxes. So it is a contouring brush palette, blush palette. You have a light and a dark. 
So you would take the light and put it up here. And then you take the darker shade and blend it in and that just helps contour a little bit more. And I always put blush on my nose and my chin. So now we need some highlight and for this I'm using ColourPop again. And this is Butterfly Beach and it is a Super Shock Cheek highlighter. And with their highlighters, I don't use my fingers. I just go boom. And it's just like the perfect amount of whatever highlight you need. So now I'm going to go ahead and finish my eyes. And I'm not going to do um, lashes. I'm just going to use mascara. So I know I said I was going to do a very subtle winged liner, but... My eyeliner and I had different ideas of what subtle means, apparently, because, <laughs> anyways, so, now I'm going to finish this eye look by doing a little something underneath my eyes, and for that I am picking up R43, this is from Morph as well, and I'm going to pick up a little bit of Tempting, which is the black, and I'm just going to do... A little bit right here under my eye right where the my liner that went too deep meets the bottom lash just to kind of darken up and contour that look a little bit I'm going to pick up puree and we're gonna kind of soften that out because it's a little too dark right now So I almost feel like I need to darken up up here now to kind of match down here. Which sucks because I really want this to be like a soft neutral look. So I'm going to take R39 and I'm going to pick up Tempting, not black. But I am going super, super light. There's barely any on my brush and we're just going to blend that right here so I'm a little mad that I have to do this but it doesn't look bad so I feel like it's too dark for a neutral look but you know I tried okay so now I'm going to finish the look with some mascara and for this I'm using my favorite mascara which is the Beauty Bakery um, eyelash icing and it is a black waterproof mascara, so it's perfect for a beach day. I like this mascara because it normally does not clump, like, at all. There's, like, really no need for false lashes with this look because, it's, again, subtle, a little subtle, a slightly natural look. As I got black crap on my, my cheek. So that's the thing I was trying to avoid going too dark because then it makes your under eyes look dark. So for a little bit of a pop, I'm going to add a little bit of bright to the inner corner of this look. And for that, I'm picking up Nectar, which is really pretty gold. And this flat brush, this is from um, Storybook Cosmetics. It's one of their wand brushes. And that's just going right there on the inner corner for a nice neutral pop and then to finish off this look where did I put it? I lose everything and it's right in front of me I told you here <laughs> and this is the ColourPop um, blotted lip in shade Lexi and it's a really pretty red it looks like a bold red but when you put it on and it's like a crown like I don't know if they're all like this but this one especially is very very hard so you have to press down hard to get on there alternatively if you don't want to wear a lipstick like this I mean this is a lip tint you could always just do a lip gloss or something like that 
but I just love how this looks and I feel like it pulls the look together. So I'm going to set it with the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Spray. And I don't do the, I do all over because I need this to last. So one last check, let me just fix that orange a little bit. Make sure the blend is good. Take my hair down. It's gonna look like crap. I'm probably gonna curl it. Let me see. Mm. Actually, I think it looks fine. <laughs> so I could put a little bit of sea spray in it just to get more of a texture, or I just leave it like this, which I probably will. Because normally when I go to the beach, I will wear my big floppy hat just to keep the sun off of my face. And I love this hat. I found it at I think Marshalls before, right before we went to on our trip for 4th of July. And I just feel like this is a perfect hat for the beach. Like it is just the perfect hat for the beach, right? Like it's big and floppy. It keeps the sun from my face. So yeah, I just, I do feel really weird filming this video today because I'm not going to the beach. I'm actually going to the beach next weekend. Well, I mean, actually by the time this video goes up, I'm going to go to the beach. So I guess this is perfect because this video will go up on Friday and tomorrow we are going to the beach. So I guess this video actually came out of perfect timing. So before I go, I wanted to take a moment to introduce something brand new. So every Friday, starting today, I am going to be doing the hashtag Butterfly Squad weekly shout out. So what this is, is just basically where I will shout out two fellow creators who I enjoy watching their content. They may not necessarily be active on my videos, but we do talk either on other YouTube videos and channels, on Twitter, on Instagram. Numbers aren't important here. Some are big, some are small. These are just people who I generally enjoy conversing with and watching their content. And this is just my way of giving back to the community. I'm not a big channel in any means, but I do feel like there is a need in the community to help each other out in any way that we can. So if you would like to be featured in upcoming weeks, it is very easy. All you have to do is be active on my social media, comment on videos you see on other live streams, say hey or just be active on my Twitter, my Instagram, whichever, and just be a generally awesome person and, and create content that you enjoy. And if I enjoy them too, I will give you a shout out. Now, this week's hashtag Butterfly Squad shout out goes to Kit Kat Games and Beauty and Catch Your Breath Beauty. So Kit Kat Games and Beauty is mainly a gaming channel, but she also does unboxings and chit chat live streams. She is very sweet and a funny person, and you can really see the passion that she has for the content she creates, especially when she does her What's Up in Gaming segment. You guys really need to check those out. And the thing I love most about her live streams is she makes a point to say hello to everybody that comes into the stream. It doesn't feel like you're just sitting there watching someone play a game. It feels like you're almost playing the game with them. She also has these amazingly adorable kids who are constantly trying to steal the show and you guys know how much I love when YouTubers include their families into their videos. And also she was my very first supporter on Patreon and we are actually planning a Friday night collab stream in the very soon future. So shout out to you girl. And our second shout out of this week goes to my soul sister Heather from Catch Your Breath Beauty. Catch Your Breath Beauty is a beauty channel. She pours her heart and soul into every video. She does reviews, unboxing, tutorials, and so much more. It literally feels like you're on the couch with her just hanging out and having a fun time and not just like watching someone record and do videos. So she is a no bullshit type of reviewer, which you know I freaking live for. <laughs> she also does Mask Mondays, where she tries on and reviews new skincare products while updating them on life. This girl holds nothing back and is always 100% and that is why I love her. And both channels will be linked down below in the description box so make sure you guys check them out and I will see you guys next time. So 
Like I always say, if you guys like this video, please like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to join my hashtag butterfly squad, make sure you hit that bell so that way you'll be notified every time I upload new videos. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific. I'm trying to get back on schedule. I am sorry, I know. And most Fridays at 8 p.m. Pacific, I go live with Beauty Chats with Jen, where we chat about anything and everything makeup related. It's just a fun hangout Friday night. So try to catch me on live on Friday nights. So I'm gonna get going, it's really hot right now, and I just wanna go relax. So if you guys like this look, please comment down below. Go ahead and send me a love note down below. I love hearing from you guys. And always, I wish you guys lots of love and whiskers. And I'll see you guys next one. Love you. Bye. What if I told you I couldn't stay? Take me or leave me. You can still walk away.